Good morning, church family, and to the visitors to the Rockhampton uh, devotional channel, a welcome to you all. Pastor Mark Chamberlain here. You know, guys, at the beginning of the 21st uh, century, and particularly those of us who live in a seemingly prosperous, um, out of westernised culture, we experience many benefits. Amongst those is that we've had um, are the fewer wars and the fewer conflicts in the recent years. Medicine and healthcare has improved and advanced dramatically. Life expectancy is at its all time high ever, a whopping 73 years of age. And you could say by, by the many measures that life today is easier and um, out of fulfilling more so ever than before. But, <laughs> And this is the but. There seems to be around the world a sense of concern, an underlying current that says that, that the world is a dangerous place. So the current um, of the researchers will tell us that in many societies, people are experiencing these uncertain times, coupled with unsettled lives. People are developing an uncertainty, uncertainty um, as a complex. And they call this the age of anxiety. It's this new sort of buzz phrase that's going around. It describes the times in um, out of which we live. How can this be? You may very well ask. <laughs> but the three major factors that seem to be at play here. The first one is um, are the disasters like extreme um, out of weather conditions economic um, uh, crisis and the COVID-19 pandemic. The second one are the sweeping changes that are implemented to counter, uh, um, as a counteract against or to have, a, uh, have an effort to overcome uh, the difficulties that these, uh, um, that these extreme um, uh, times, uh, times are happening. I probably, probably didn't word that very well. And third is this widespread polarisation that causes hostilities and the divisions um, amongst the societies and between countries. No doubt you or someone that you know has or are now experiencing these times. It's like shifting sand sort of beneath your feet. These uncertain, unsettling, anxious days. Just the other day, um, I was speaking uh, with the owner of a car um, at a repair um, uh, shop. He expressed the drastic changes he has made in the recent days just to remain in business. And he said that he was anxious. He said that uh, at a pre um, at a previously, the last 37 years, he is able to source um, out of much of the materials and the spare um, other parts actually locally, but now he must go outside of the local area and seek out the other suppliers due to the uncertainty uh, that now exists in the industry. This is the age of anxiety. So how do I, as a Christian, respond to all of this, this age of anxiety? Well, just a couple of things for you to reflect on today. The age of anxiety isn't the first one to grip the world. Surprise, surprise. There have been many before. There's nothing new under the sun, the Bible says. So we're getting upset about something that seems to come back and come back. The second point here is that God, my God, is the only secure and faithful being throughout all time. He, he has a lot of descriptions in the Bible, but the ones that stand out today is that he's a rock, he's a fortress, he's a safe harbour. He is a place to whom the righteous can run into in times of trial and testing. And there, friends, you will find your rest and your solace and your peace. Jesus Christ is often said to be the same yesterday, today and forever, consistent, reliable and true to the divine um, the nature and the character that is his. All God's promises are fulfilled in our Saviour Jesus. Don't ever forget that. Everything, everything holds true in him. And I say it again, 
The Lord Jesus Christ rules and reigns over all, all the creation, over all time. He is, uh, he is the sovereign over all things and everything. And his providence and the benevolence does not change. He's faithful and he's true. And because of all of these, I take a comfort and a strength. I have a hope that endures even the age of anxiety. Let me now to conclude with a couple of passages of scripture that I have probably read many, many, many times. The, these are the default passages that I always go to when I feel anxious. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will speak to you through these today. The first one is out of Romans 8. And let me just read to you, starting at verse 35. And it says here, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword as it is written for your sake we face death all day long we are considered as sheep to be slaughtered the age of anxiety but in verse 37 it says no in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us for I am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither the present nor the future nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Beautiful promises from God fulfilled in, uh, um, pardon me, in our beautiful Saviour Jesus. And probably my all-time favourite, out of Philippians 4, and it says here, Rejoice in the Lord always, and I say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Wow. The God of the universe is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus, the way you think and the way you feel about life, even in the age of anxiety. And it says here, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, admirable, anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Fill your head with these beautiful things. Whatever you have learned, or you have um, received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you all. I love these verses. Well, friends, have a wonderful week, a fantastic day and rest in the confidence that even in these uncertain times, God is for us. God bless you all. Let us pray. Well, our heavenly God and our wonderful King, our benevolent and providential God, we can rest in you. We can take solace in you. We find you as our fortress, our mighty tower, strong and mighty tower, our rock, our anchor. Even in the tempest of life and the challenges of life, you are there. Cause us to be a praying people, Lord, that we would come first to you, and seek your hand and seek your favour. Seek your love and your grace because, Lord, there is nothing in this world that can separate us from God's love. And we know and experience that God's love is refreshing. God's love is healing. God's love saves us. So, Lord Jesus, just remind me of all of this over the course of this week. Lord, in your precious and most wonderful name. Amen. Well, friends, continue to walk out with God and talk to him. Let him talk back. And as you do, as you are able to read your Bible, allow him to speak and trust him and follow him and serve him and take every opportunity to bless other people. God bless you all. 